I don't only see AJ get an, an interception, but for it to happen so early on. Yeah, well, that, that you know, we, we talk quite a bit as a staff and as a defense about uh, creating turnovers. So to have him be able to create one and then uh, for Jonathan to be able to have one later in the game, I think it meant a lot to these guys. Uh, it meant a lot to, you know, the rest of the guys on the defense uh, for them to be able to do that. So, yes, I'm excited that he was able to do it early uh, to get that out of his system. On that play, I mean, it happened so early, still a competitive game. Do you think that had an impact on Nichols maybe the rest of the way, getting down 14-0 early? It, it definitely could have, you know, and, that, and that's why we always stress the fact that, you know, we want to get turnovers and, uh, you know, they can change the game. You know, they change the face of the game. And if you do it early, you know, who knows what happens as you continue through the game. And I think Jonathan's, you know, later really, uh, really cemented the win. What did you think, just in general, about the the group's play as a whole in Game One? Well, I, I I'm I'm pretty hard on them in terms of grading, uh, but but I thought those guys overall they were productive. Uh, we didn't give up any big plays, and uh, you know as you play in this league, uh, that's something that you have to be able to prevent. So to be able to say that we left the game, we always talk about practice. Okay, did we leave practice and didn't give up any big plays? Well, we want to leave the game in that way as well. It's very tough to do, but to be able to do that and then to be able to have a turnover, create a turnover, was big time. Coach Klein, <clears throat> excuse me, Coach Kleiman mentioned that, that Lance Robinson was making some nice plays on special teams. Does that give him, I guess, maybe a little bit more of a, a chance at seeing some some extra time at, at the position cornerback? It does. I, I, and I always say to guys that, you know, the special teams are the pathway to playing on defense and offense. And Lance is, uh, you know, he's doing well on special teams. And uh, he had an opportunity to play on defense. But, of course, I would, we only played 43 plays. But I would have liked to have seen him more on defense. But as we continue through the season, he'll he'll get his share. But it'll be, you know, because of his performance on special teams that, you know, it kind of gives you confidence. Uh, it gives the staff confidence in your ability to be able to go out and, and play defensive snaps uh, when, when we see you doing it on special teams. You just mentioned the lack of, of snaps you got you guys got as a unit right there. A couple other coaches have kind of mentioned it. It was obvious that you guys weren't out there on the field that much. So I guess how do you, you accurately judge things where on one hand, you know, you would have liked to see more, but on but on the other hand, it, you're pretty impressed with how strong the defense played and got them off the field. Well, each play is independent of, of its of its uh, itself. You know, when you, when you don't uh, when you don't have a lot of uh, reps, then you know you just have to judge what you judge. Now, there's some guys who would have liked to play more reps. You know, guys that that uh, played seven, eight plays. You know, when you look at an 80 play game, then you probably would say that guy would get more reps. But honestly. We don't want to play any plays. If the if the offense can hold it the entire game and we get one play, then that'll be just fine for us, right? If we get three and out, that'll be just fine for us. But it is, like you said, more difficult to to uh, judge your performance when you have fewer plays. Uh, but when you win and you have just a few plays, then you feel pretty good for a week. I understand Nichols not necessarily your responsibility, but what were your thoughts on Jared McPherson's game on Saturday? Uh, well, I thought that uh, the game, once the game's over, I, I kind of forget anyone who was on yeah. that team. So who is that guy? Who are you talking about? Oh, no, sorry. Jeremy McPherson and Nickel for you guys. Oh. Yeah. Okay. you talking J Mack. Is Correct. I, you guys have so many nicknames, I know. I never know uh, which no, one it is. J Mack did a good job. Yeah. Uh, he, 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 um, when we got here in the spring, he was injured. Right. And uh, so, you know, I didn't get a chance to see a lot of him. But, but on game day, he's a guy with a lot of energy. Uh, he flies around to the football. He's very aggressive. Of course, he can he can play man coverage. So I was impressed with him, uh, and I and I think he's going to do a great job for us as we continue through the season. I just got to learn his name. So, I was going to say totally off topic. The name. What percentage of players in this team have a nickname? I mean, you guys call everybody something other than their name. Yeah, what that, percent do you think? That's true. I don't know what they call the coaches. Maybe we have some that's nicknames a good as well. But. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say about 80% of the guys have yeah. one nickname or another. And, uh, you know, that's the, that's the, the mystery is, is what is his name going to be today. Right. What have you appreciated about AJ and just what he's brought to your room since you've been here? Well, the fact is, he, and I told him this yesterday, he's played a lot of snaps. And uh, when you have a guy who's played a lot of football, uh, the experience that he brings, he's not a vocal leader. 
Uh, you know, normally he's a guy who kind of leads by example. But then I've seen him pull younger guys to the side. I've seen him chastise younger guys who are not uh, living up to the standard. And uh, so I, those are the things that I that I think he brings. Uh, again, he's not a he's not going to be the guy who's going to stand up and, and gather the team around him. Uh, but he leads by example. He's always taking care of his business. He's always where he's supposed to be. He's always practicing the right way. So uh, I can appreciate that in him. And um, you know, I, I, he is who he is. He's not like I said. He's not going to be the guy who's going to to rattle. Um, uh, rah rah and rattle chains, but uh, he does a good job, an effective job of leading in our room, and I've appreciated that.